So, uh, this is designed to bring a little bit of clarity into uh, a super frequent question that we are, we are confronted with. And it's a bit designed for both patients and, and uh, surgeons, and for those who, who attend our courses. Um, and the question is, what is reduction production? Because that sounds a little bit absurd, but it's actually very logical. And I want to tell you why that is so. Because uh, the question here uh, in, in bollock surgery, <laughs> I might have to add, is when do I work with implants and when do I work with fat grafting only? Because uh, I think even both patients as well as surgeons often confront me with the idea that one thing is better than the other, and that is a bit simplistic. Because it really depends, A, of course, on, on, on how much fat reserve your, your patient has and what the buttock looks like. Because uh, what, you, what you have to check, how much fat is on the lower back and how much original projection does the patient have. Because you see here a classic case, this is actually projection increased by liposuction. Because if you look at the lower back, the patient has just below the green line here a lot of, of, of fat on the lower back, and when you remove this, the butt automatically will appear much, much more projecting. That, that works extraordinarily well. Um, uh, we, the fat grafting as such, you know, fat grafting is, is not very suitable to create massive projection because, of course, fat is a bit resistant to pressure. You can't really push the tissues out. So you see in most, in very many, many patients, those who come out with a BBL with, with, with these, they, uh, uh, mouth gagging projections often you find you just they had a lot of fat on the lower back and by the removal of this this give a very very projecting look and uh, in contrast to that you see a classic implant case that is a patient with very little fat uh, uh, the, but the bow is not really flat you can't say that but doesn't have a lot of projection but really you can't get anywhere near that result with lipo and, and fat grafting only so fat implants here will create a real projection. So that only doesn't look like projection, but it is real projection. So you add projection by the implant. So, so, so what does that mean when we, when we guide our patients or the patients when they consider what is the best procedure for me? Check how much fat do you have in your lower back. If you have a lot of lower fat there and a bit of reasonable projection, fat grafting is probably the much, much better option for you. If you have little back fat, and zero projection, or what uh, <laughs> people like to call a flat butt, then implants might be the better option, or you would have to do uh, multiple sessions of fat grafting. So, I see an interesting topic. Yeah, decision making is sometimes a bit tricky, and maybe we can motivate you guys to come to, to, to one of our live uh, training courses where, where, where we discuss all these problems. And uh, thank you for your attention.